all right you guys welcome back to the channel unseal legends today we have four crown zenith mini tins and there are five in the set but we opened one of the last one we opened one of them in the last videos go ahead and check that out if you're new to the channel we did a big crown zenith opening but today we have got the other four mini tins in the set and if you're new to the channel the the tin that is missing is the Charizard one. And it's definitely the most sought after because on the Pokemon Center website, they are actually sold out of just the Charizard one. Which is understandable because it's definitely the best artwork on the tins. Alright. So in each of these comes two Crown Zenith booster packs. And you're going to get a sticker set. And a little note card to finish the whole scene if you get all five tins. But uh, let's break this open and uh, find out for ourselves. What do we got in here? Now, go ahead and let me know in the comments what your favorite cards in this set was. There are so many. Especially because they got the Galarian Gallery and the artwork is just insane. Alright, so you got... You've got a little bit of uh, detail, what's going on, and you get a little picture to show you which scene you got and which ones go next to what. So that's pretty cool. And on the back, there's your full scene. Go ahead and put all five together and it makes something cool. And you get a little sticker set. I thought that was awesome. Um, but no coins in this one. I thought that was a little weird. No coins in these tins. All right. Let me know in the comments if there are other mini tins that don't have the coins because I'm pretty sure I remember all of them having coins. But uh, yeah, we got Jirachi in the background and we've got our sweet Blastoise painting that a Pokey fan sent in. That is so awesome. I love the channel, you guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. We do so many openings. And uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see for openings in the future because all things pokemon here all right we got a potion we got a bidoof we got a all right yanma oh something shiny all right i read a trainer card with everybody on it look at that look at that that is a shiny card right there oh man the camera doesn't even do it justice, you guys. All right, and we got a Volcanion right behind it, hollow. It looks nice. I'm not the biggest fan of the hollow pattern. It seems kind of plain to me, but it's still nice. But the trainer gallery, I'm telling you guys. Oof, the Irita. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this up real quick. Keep that looking nice, and we're going to set it right here. All right, you guys, this was pack number one, pack number one. I'll go ahead and sleeve this up too. Let me know in the comments, you guys, what kind of sleeves are you guys using these days? I usually just go with the penny sleeves, but uh, recently with the Elite Trainer boxes, uh, I've been getting some pretty sweet sleeves, so I've been using those. All right, pack number two, what do we got? And if you're new to the channel, make sure to check the one of the previous videos. We went and opened the Elite Trainer Box for this set and got some awesome cards. But most importantly, you get the Trainer Guide and you get to see all the cards in the set. So you get to see everything you're missing and everything to look forward to opening. My Chase cards are... Alright, let's see what we got. We got a non hollow we got a non hollow right there. And moving on to the second tin. But like I was like I was about to say, the chase cards for this set is the uh any of the three legendary dogs, of course, but uh Suicune, most importantly. That has always been my favorite out of the legendaries for sure. All right, you guys. Pack number uh, ten, number two is looking looking pretty cool for the artwork. All right, very nice. You got the uh, more Pico, and you got everything about it. 
little info and then you got the scene on the back to match it up of course you can't forget about the sticker set and we're gonna move on to our second set of booster packs here all right and don't forget you guys once we get to a thousand subscribers i'm going to be giving out all the code cards for everybody to scan but this one this one is for you guys because i love the channel that we uh that we're building so far love the comments appreciate every single person for tuning in and leaving a comment and liking subscribing with notifications on it really helps the channel all right we got it that's pretty pretty sweet reverse uh pattern all right you guys oh 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 of course i've i've been dropping these we got a zycane v card with the full art and i'm telling you guys the cameras do not do these cards justice they're just insane artwork and in person pulling these cards from the packs they just look so cool i love what they did with the set all right we got Jirachi sleeping in the background. We got the Pokey friends waving to us. All right, second pack in the second 10. Let's see what we got, you guys. That side, one, two, three, four to the front. We got an electric energy to start it off. All right, Snow Run. We got a Pancham. We got a Shinx. Woo Lou for some good luck. All right, this see this is what I'm talking about the uh, trainer gallery. We got a full art mana fee right here. Oh my goodness, and I love these trainer car uh, trainer gallery cards because if you look around, you can see other Pokemon in the background. Uh, just uh, so many different Pokemon interacting in the back, and we got a Hollow Mewtwo. That is awesome. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of this hollow pattern that they got uh, for some of these rares, but Mewtwo really pulls it off pretty good. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at that trainer gallery artwork right there. It just speaks for itself, you guys. Look at that. Go ahead and sleeve that up. Set that right there for you guys. Oh, man gonna sleeve up this Mewtwo here don't want any scratches on it all right I'm gonna have to go ahead and uh, check the centering on a lot of these because we've been getting some really good pulls on the channel here you guys I've been thinking about sending them out to get graded and then seeing what we got and reviewing those on the channel because we have been pulling some sweet cards all right, you guys, 10 number three. And we have got some Hatana information right here. And then, of course, you've got your scene right there and the sticker set. All right, you guys, first pack of the third 10. Let me know in the comments if you think these tins are worth it. I think they're the best. Uh, the best value actually rather than getting all the other tins or the boxes because you get two packs for $8.99 so that's $4.50 a pack that's really good all right but I could be wrong uh let me know in the comments what do you what do you think a good price point for a pack of crown zenith is going for all right Matang reverse into an executor non-hollow I'm telling you guys, in the first generation, Executor was one of my favorites. It really packed a punch. You got the Psychic type, but also you got the Grass type abilities with it too. Made it real wicked versatile. All right, Black Code card. So we got a little bit of. Uh, I think we're gonna get a hit on this one. Uh, water Energy. Good luck for the water energy. Blastoise in the background. All right, Matang. We got Mr. Mime. We got a Shanks. All right, you guys. 
Yanma. We got a Pokeball reverse into an. All right. We got the other legendary. All right. We got a. Nice. Nice. We got the Zamazenta right there. The full art card. Guys, these, these look so good in person. It's crazy. If you are not already uh, getting the Crown Xena set, you definitely should check it out. These cards are insane. Definitely my favorite set so far in Sword and Shield. Let me know in the comments. Uh, add a Sword and Shield. What is your favorite set? Because we're about to, uh, I think, under a week now, if uh, this video comes out. In the next day or two then we are looking at less than a week for the new set to come out and i've already been seeing pre-release opens of the set and i'm kind of weirded out because all the cards look strange to me with the gray borders it's kind of not the same because we've had the yellow borders for 25 plus years now and they're all of a sudden switching it to gray so that's kind of weird they look they look good don't get me wrong the artwork looks good but on the front with the without the yellow borders it just it doesn't seem like the same card it doesn't seem like a pokemon card but let me know in the comments if you like the transition like the transformation they're making in the new sets with the gray borders all right okay look at that we got one of our chase cards right here you guys we got a raikou we got the full art raikou right here Oh my goodness. Yes, this is this is one of the chase cards, one of the three legendary dogs that we were looking for. All right. And all right, this is just fell out from behind. We got the professor's research. Guys, two good pulls right in a row. We got a double hitter on the on the last 10, you guys. All right, but look at that Raikou right there. All right. I have been on the search for this since the set came out and we finally got it you guys all right let me know in the comments what that uh what these two are going for right now on a price point I think the uh Suicune last time I checked it was like 32 or 34 dollars uh but let me know what you could get for the Raikou or the Professor's Research. Or really any of the cards that we pulled so far. Alright. I think in future videos, I'm going to try to get the, uh, get the prices and put them up on the screen for you guys. So you won't have to go and search around for those. but always welcome in the comments always let me know and if i'm off on any of the prices definitely keep me up to date and go ahead and put that in the comments last pack you guys black code card that is some uh that's some good chances right there we got the grass energy all right you guys last pack i'm running through this Running through this. Good luck for we just got a sight. There's some core fish. All right, look at that. That's what I'm saying, you guys. I had a feeling with the black code card. We got all right. All right, we got we got a DNC right there. Full art from the trainer gallery, and we got nothing for the rare. But look at that, you guys. See, this is what I love about the trainer gallery too. It doesn't necessarily matter. If you get a hit at the end because there's a chance you could get one before. Alright, you guys. Let me know in the comments. Was this set worth it? Uh, was this 10 set grab worth it? I think so. If you see all the all the hits we got laying up in the back, we got a pretty good, pretty good pulls. And we got one of the three chase cards, you guys. That was awesome. Alright. Stay tuned for the next uh, video. We got a mystery box coming up from a fan that a fan sent in. So I'm super excited. All right. Till next time. Unsealed legends, you guys.